All right, take a moment. Solve and graph this one. All right, if you guys are working, you're probably working too hard. There we go. This one's good because it's after the break and probably forgot about the last one that looked as, just as bad, right? So if we subtract 7 from both sides, we get, uh, what is that, 88? <clears throat> and we've got the absolute value of some garbage and a negative 4. So we'll divide both sides by negative 4. And since we divided both sides by negative, it's going to flip the inequality. So I got negative 22 and an absolute value. Here, we're saying that an absolute value is less than a negative. That's false. That can never happen, so there's just no solution, which would be that symbol. But if it was greater than, you could have a lot That's correct. So, all right, I, I'm just going to point this out real quick. If you ever see that problem, if you have an absolute value and it's greater than some negative number, what number do you guys want? Negative 22. 22. <laughs> if the absolute value is greater than a negative 22, well, an absolute value is always positive, so this is always true. It's just all real numbers. Yeah.